Hey there, Psych2Goers. Welcome or welcome back to our channel. Did you know every small, everyday act makes a huge impact on your lifeline? Curious to know which daily habits can be altered to live a healthier lifestyle? Well, you're in the right spot. Here are six habits that may kill you. Number one, complaining. Complaining is the nemesis of joy. Have you ever heard this phrase before? There's nothing wrong with being dissatisfied, particularly if it motivates you to develop and challenge yourself. On the other hand, Chronic complaints without intervention breed negative thoughts, pessimism, and hopelessness, reinforcing a feeling of powerlessness in the face of anger, draining your energy. It only serves as a constant source of discouragement for you as well as others surrounding you. As a result, you may develop an apathetic attitude that saps the joy from your life and leads to something much worse. Number two, taking vitamins or supplements unnecessarily. Yes. Your body does need nutrients such as vitamins and minerals, but that doesn't mean that one should use health supplements in one's diet, unless of course, a physician prescribes it. That's because most of the body's nutritional requirements are fulfilled by the food you consume daily, given its balanced eating. However, with vitamin supplements being all the rage, you can unwittingly consume them without understanding the potential side effects. The reality is that taking supplements without a need for them disrupts the body's working, causing more harm than good. It's highly crucial that you use supplements only when prescribed by your physician. Jumping on the bandwagon is highly risky where health is concerned. It's always prudent to get professional advice. Number three, eating without being hungry and overeating. Overeating is almost as bad as missing essential meals during the day. Do you have the habit of eating while watching or reading something? It's an act after your own heart, isn't it? But the downside is it usually causes one to overeat leading to obesity and many other health problems such as bloating, extra body fat, and a higher risk of certain diseases. But the good news is you can steer clear of all of this when you reduce portion sizes, consume less processed foods, and concentrate on whole foods to avoid overeating. If you like, a dietitian can help you develop an eating plan that will benefit your long-term health. Number four, drinking coffee first thing in the morning. Is the aroma of coffee your best alarm? You might consider it your daily dose of encouragement, but it's also a huge health risk when consumed first thing in the morning. Uh-oh. Your body tends to dehydrate while you're asleep. Coffee only exacerbates the issue and dehydrates you even more. To put it lightly, it leaves an empty stomach acidic and slouching. Yikes. Coffee also increases blood pressure and heart rate. And if it contains sugar, the blood sugar levels will increase as well. And not to forget the caffeine. According to Healthline, caffeine overdoses may exacerbate anxiety and may even be fatal. Number five, your posture goes unchecked. Right at this very moment. Are you slouching? <laughs> gotcha, low key me too. But studies from Harvard University show that muscle strength affects balance in several ways. The core muscles of the back, side, pelvis, and buttocks form a sturdy central link between your upper and lower body. Weak core muscles encourage slumping, which tips your body forward and thus off balance. Dr. Renee Callier, former director of the University of Southern California's Department of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation, mentioned in an interview that hunching over too much can reduce lung capacity up to 30%. When you stand up straight, you'll notice how much easier it is to breathe. Exercises that create strength where it matters and stretches that relax tight muscles are used in balance-specific exercises to fix posture and balance issues. Working on enhancing your core strength and flexibility will help you improve your posture in just a few weeks. And number six, sitting for long hours with no exercise. Does your work keep you glued to your desk eight to 10 hours a day, sometimes even more? According to research conducted by the National Center of Biotechnology Information, obesity, heart disease, elevated cholesterol levels, diabetes, stress, and other health issues have been related to long periods of sitting and a lack of exercise. In women, sitting for long hours are related to coronary heart disease, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, and many other feminine problems. Incorporating walking or any other form of exercise into your daily routine can help eliminate any risks. Do you have any of these habits? If so, do you think this video helped you recognize them? Feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts, experiences, or suggestions. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there practicing these don'ts. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more new videos. And as always, thanks for watching.